Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and today I'll talk about uh, proxy interviews, why proxies are dangerous for interviewer and for the organization. Now in my channel I have four uh, such small clippings of proxy candidate wherein I encountered, uh, I encountered like maybe more than 10-12 instance out of which I just uh, uh, taken snaps for four or five and I do have their entire uh, video recording but for definitely securities and I won't expose them because there is no point uh, to expose uh, as we are in a, also in a you know similar uh, ecosystem like you know we are all in IT so I, we can also understand the, the, the problem right but the reason being I am talking here being an interviewer prospective being an uh, organization's prospective proxy might be very dangerous so that story i just wanted to share please be with me and i know a lot of people have like you know have a lot of sympathy for proxy candidate because they think like you know just an interview after that eventually people will learn uh, like you know by anyhow uh, so proxy is not something which is really bad but i have some something different different perspective uh, let me uh, start from beginning now i'll i'll tell two, two story of my experience also like I will uh, tell certain thing so let me let me show the first proxy when I encountered this proxy like uh, possibly 2022 I was uh, taking an interview and the day was quite hectic I have taken more than 10 interviews that day and uh, suddenly a guy with 10 11 years of experience uh possibly senior technical lead i was taking an inter first round l1 interview i was thinking like you know he might be a proxy but that was my first encounter with proxy and i don't believe that a guy with 12 years of experience possibly 35 or so he can cheat in a technical interview so i have accepted the candidate and after that like you know i i i have like you know taken that candidate and given the positive feedback immediately i got a mail from my company that you have a incorrect selection and then I, this is the proxy candidate they either have a manual process or ai driven process i don't know like like the process but that is what it is after that i need to write a sincerely apology mail to the director level that going forward i will be vigilant so you can you can now understand like you know how proxies are dangerous for interviewer career perspective so this is one i will tell you some more also now this guy uh, he is pretending to be a senior software engineer and uh, uh, like you know uh, you can see the video it is there in my channel and uh, eventually dotnet with angular folks and this guy is possibly i'm don't know no, like he's uh, like you know a, a devops guy as per linkedin profile but he wants to join as a asp.net developer so that is one issue but this guy is quite junior so i definitely have a sympathy for him and this guy is also dangerous he used to be a senior technical lead trying to cheat to join as a, a, a architect level so this is one uh, instance i i uh, encounter and this guy is basically a devops expert a site reliability engineer but when i like you know little bit uh, tell him that I, it, I i think like you know he is not like you know not instead of repeating uh, telling request requesting him to remove his uh, hand from the, his lip he is not listening also like i told like it seems your video and audio are not in sync so immediately he uh, like you know uh, cut the interview so this was small four for small video in my channel which i have now i'll tell you the exact problem this is my problem which i encountered now, now i'll tell two more instance one instance is one guy joined a very reputed organization let not take the name but you can understand that top indian mnc he joined where there is almost no, no layoff even there is no layoff for performance ground as well it is so secured company he joined in kolkata uh, like you know and he is from hyderabad basically that guy and he joined as a senior java developer kind of uh, it uh, let's not uh, take the like a you know, position name because people will understand and then what has happened uh, he got the kt functional kt he got the code work through at the very beginning he was unable to set the environment variable of java uh, that is a warning so people initially like you know people thought like it might be that you know he is working in certain java spring boot or something he may forgot the nitty gritties so they helped 
him to like like you know establish uh, the like you know things like the minimal bare minimal thing in his system but after that he is not uh, not uh, like you know equipped with uh, eclipse he don't know eclipse he don't know how to run eclipse packages how to incorporate packages there are certain like you know maven coating those possibly are uh, like you know deployment is required for deployment jenkins stuff See, he doesn't know anything so things were going really wrong and uh, that, that that guy is basically asks uh, like there is a there is a like you know then like you know there is a uh, like a you know, call with on site technical manager and all manager they came and they asked how you got the job because his interview was top notch he's from hyderabad then he uh, like you know confessed that he has taken in hyderabad there is a famous place called amir pet where people usually get this proxy candidate so somehow he managed to get a proxy and then he entered that particular company thinking that if when they will they I mean he will get a lot of chance because that company is considered the considerably the safest company basically and then he uh, they fired that employee specific, specifically so that is one instance and the next instance is really bad it has happened with my manager two years back so what has happened i was also working in an indian mnc that is also reputed for like you know employee secu- employee security that time one day my manager was really upset and he to- told me uh, do you know what has happened i actually hired a proxy candidate and things are really going wrong then we discuss and he told like you know a guy who pretended uh, to be a, a site reliability engineer specifically devops guy and joined with a huge package as a, a project lead and after joining he directly uh, went on site us so after going to on site he was allocated to a project like kind of a migration project they need to implement uh, like you know strategy and everything devops practice so he was not able to do anything so client has given almost two months of time he was unable to deliver a single thing then the the client manager communicated to the offshore and the offshore my manager who is basically a non technical guy he was scape- basically scapegoat like you know he people make them like the company make him a scapegoat and tell like you know the manager round has taken by him basically so that's what uh, they fired that like you know manager so that is what like you know uh, if you have taken a, a proxy candidate it might be dangerous for the uh, like you know like you know the interviewer and for company perspective also it is dangerous because see this guy is pretending to be a technical manager now if he will become a technical manager he's subordinate like you know junior he don't know anything related to technology he's kind of a uh, kind of a maybe uh, a, a scrum master or something but he is pretending to be a dotnet ex- dotnet and azure expert right so he will not do anything what he will do he will keep blaming his like you know subordinate that they are not able to deliver and the entire team will suffer including the company so yes i believe if you have a sympathy let it be but still uh, in terms of in terms of like you know company's perspective and interviewer perspective proxies are dangerous and please the interviewer please be vigilant if you are taking any online examination any online interviews do your due diligence try to see try at least 5 10 minutes give and see uh, like you know whether there is a lip syncing whether the person is reading from somewhere whether they are using chat gpt or lot of multiple other stuff uh, during the interviews